Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Nick Alligood. Hey guys, how's it going? So you, oh my gosh, you have a great story. I'm really excited to talk to you. Um, but first, I want to congratulate you on Chaser. Um, this, this, this is your current, um, your debut EP, and you've already, you know, had sales in all 50 states and seven countries. And I am so excited for you. How has that been for you? Uh, amazing. Uh, it's it's definitely been uh been an exciting journey the past you know well we've really been putting this together now for about six months and it's been out for just about a month and uh you know, my first single that I pushed out you know way past over a year ago that's it's not even out anymore but you know it didn't have that great a success and um right. I've been really excited with all the things I've been doing since I moved to Nashville and um all the hard work that we've been putting in and some of these amazing guys that are writing with me and the guys that are playing on the record and stuff like that. And I, to be honest with you, never imagined that in 30 days it was going to do what it did. Right. So it's definitely really cool. Well, it's it's been really exciting to watch. And, um, you know, you, you post and you connect with your fans on, on social media. And mm -hmm. I, I was watching a, a lot of your Instagram posts. And, you know, first of all, I also got to say, you seem like you have one of the greatest personalities ever. You and your friends just look like you're always having a great time. And it's just, it's, it's so infectious. It's like you want to just jump into the photograph and join that good time. Um, but, but what I really like is that, you know, you, you talk to all of your fans. They'll ask you questions. There was a picture um, of you with, um, I believe it was Lee Bryce. And somebody, you know, somebody was commenting. And you're just talking to everybody. And I just think that is so refreshing to see. And was that something that, you know, you set out to do that you just wanted to keep it real and, and, and just be a real person and, and talk to people? Or was this just, I mean, I don't know. What, what's your mindset on that? I mean, it's really kind of something that I've prided myself in, you know, since day one. You know, I, my music career came overnight, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. I mean, I never, in my wildest dreams, imagine this is what I'd be doing. So, you know, when... When I first started actually getting noticed, you know, I used to be the guy that that was playing in a sports bar while your favorite football game was going on, and everybody's ticked off at me and want me to be quiet. You know, to <laughs> to all of a sudden headlining the Grizzly Rose in Denver, Colorado, in a year's time. Right. So it was crazy, and so of course, you know, right off the bat, you know, when you start to get that attention, it's just it's some that's something that a lot of guys you know, tend to kind of lose sight of because mm -hmm. at first everybody's really excited. Oh my God, you got all this attention and, right. you know, they respond to every tweet that comes in and, right. and everything like that. Well, then all of a sudden you start getting bigger and you see it start slacking down. Of course, I don't get to respond to everybody all the time um, just because, like I said, it has, it's, it's insane now with the amount right. of comments and stuff that we get, but I really enjoy being able to talk to them and, because, you know, I mean, I even take the negative things that people say to me. I get it all. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it all the time, but, you know, some people do send me some direct messages. So, hey, I wish you'd do this or, you know, whatever. So it's it's just something I feel like if I can connect with them on the level of, like, intimacy there, you know, mm -hmm. them thinking, hey, we're friends. You know, they shouldn't be afraid to tweet me or, right. you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, get to meet them at shows and stuff like that. It's just, I think it helps both of us. Well, I, I think it's great. And, you know, I mean, I've, there's a ton of artists out there who, who connect with their fans. And, mm -hmm. you know, but, but when I was watching you, I mean, you were going kind of above and beyond in my eyes. I mean, you were just full on, like, there were so many comments from you and you're just having conversations with everybody. And I just I was like, wow, that's really cool. I really, I really enjoyed watching that. And, um, you know, and something else that I saw, on, I think it was on your Instagram. Uh, you did a dub smash video of fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> I never laughed. That's so my hard. number one all time favorite movie is Tommy boy. Yes. 
Well, uh, yeah, that was so I watched it over and over and over, and I just laughed for like an hour straight. Just that was the greatest thing. So I'm just going to tell everybody if they need a good laugh, they need to watch this video. You have it on your Instagram. It was amazing. But so I know that that's your favorite video. But what? There's got to be a story behind why you picked that moment to do that. Well, actually, it was I had never done a dub stunt video before, mm-hmm. and um, when when I first moved to Nashville, we started doing this thing called that we called Supper Club, and it was kind of like, you know, us broke musicians trying to figure out <laughs> cheap ways to eat. So we what we used to do is all get together at one person's house, like one week, so and so would cook, you know, big spaghetti dinner or something like that. Right. We we're all just hanging out, drinking, having a good time, and they were doing it over and over again and I was like what is that you know like I feel like I'm behind right, on right. what's going on and like oh this is Doug's best this is how it works da, 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 da. and immediately it clicked in my head and I was like I've got to do it right now oh and my God. I actually before I posted it I sent it back home down to South Georgia um sent a text message to a couple of my friends it's like the movie we quote every time we're around each other so right um they're like you got to post that <laughs> So it was uh, it was definitely definitely a good time. Well, that is awesome, and you know, I was just like, oh my god, I I have to know what went on. You were perfect, and it was just so funny. But okay, so you 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 just said something about a supper club. That is, I've never heard that before. What a great, brilliant, ingenious idea. Who came up with that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just kind of. Um, there's a a girl, a great writer up in Nashville. She's from right around my hometown. Uh, named Kaylee Anna, and I think she kind of came up with the idea. Next thing we know, it went from, you know, three of us to five of us to ten of us, and it's just a good time for all of us to kind of take a break from, you know, writing and and producing and being out on the road and stuff, and when we all get together and just have one big one big meal and, you know, have a couple of drinks and sit around and just get to relax and enjoy each other's company and stuff. Well, I think that is great. And, you know, I mean, to me, that's just, that's something that I think everybody should, you know, find something to do similar to that, because I, I think it's a really great way to stay connected with your friends and to unwind and just relieve some stress and, and not worry. You know, um, I think everybody could benefit from doing something like that. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah. so, so you, I, I know you grew up in a small town in Georgia and you know, mm-hmm. what, what fans may not know is, you know, you were, you were 17 when you picked up a guitar for the first time, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like you said, your, your career was kind of overnight. I mean, what, what was it that made you just think, oh, okay, I'm going to do this now? Oh, well, really? It was, I mean, I've all, I've always been in music itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, I played drums for my church for six years almost mm-hmm. seven years um and so doing that especially you know once I got out of playing in the youth band and got in the main service I was always playing with older musicians who were you know pushing me to do better and do better because okay. you know when I was 16 years old playing in the main service band the youngest guy besides me was in his 40s so yeah. It, they were always pushing me to do better. And then one day, you know, I just decided I'm going to learn how to play guitar. They taught me how to play a couple chords. And then, mm-hmm. you know, once we got out of uh, out of high school, one of my buddies that was in quartet with me, um, yes, I was in quartet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we started a band and it just, everything unraveled from there. And then next thing I know, I'm playing a little show. And uh, I was like, man, that was god awful. And a guy walked up to me and he's like, hey, you want to make 300 bucks this weekend playing at my wife's birthday party? <laughs> like, okay, sure. I, maybe I can start making some money doing this. All right. And then it just kind of unraveled from there. Well, that's great. I love hearing stories like that. And, you know, then you made the decision, like so many artists do, to move to Nashville, which I think is so amazing. I mean, and, you know, really, Nashville you know, it is to musicians what Hollywood is to actors. So I, mm-hmm. I think I think that was a great move. And how has that transition been for you? Was it easy to move or was it stressful? I mean, how, how did your family take I mean, it? At first it was it was it's one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. 
And it's because, I mean, I had my, my dream career already. Mm. I was working for an energy operations company out of Atlanta, loved my job, you know, had financial stability, everything right. that, you know, you kind of dream of after college. And, you know, after the, um, after the George Music Awards, um, after I won that back in 2014, mm-hmm. my parents were like, okay, maybe this isn't just a hobby. Right. You know, maybe you can actually do something with it. And they're like, man, you gotta, you gotta pursue this, at least try it. You know, you can always come back to your job and whatnot. And so I kind of just took the leap of faith and in one year so I guess January it's officially in Nashville now for one year oh, and, nice. um, and it's been just an insane ride I've made some of the best friends I've ever had um, you know all the guys you see me messing around with on Instagram Twitter stuff like that right Tyler and Taylor and all them and um, you know my manager has has helped me so much through everything and 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 taking a lot of stress off of me, but we've we've come a long way. And you know, I gave myself a year in Nashville and said if I don't double it, then I'm gonna hang it up. And I tripled it in about a month and a half of being in Nashville. So I guess I'm gonna do that for a while. Absolutely, while. you're like, okay, I'm here. That's where I'm staying now. I'm actually hoping to get back out to Nashville as well, and I'll be I'll be coming out on um, the end of the end of January actually to do some filming and some mm-hmm. on camera interviews. So. If if you have any availability and you want you know you you're playing anywhere, let us know so we can come and capture some footage of you or yeah, you know do an on camera interview as well. That'd be fun. And you know one thing I want to tell you is that when I saw how you were supporting your friend Tyler Rich, I you know I thought that was really great. And not everybody does this, but you're just you know promoting him left and right and you know kudos to you for that because that's really cool and I, I'm sure that that meant a lot to him and. You know, getting that, you know, getting on the Hell of a Night tour with Dustin Lynch, I'm sure, was probably one of the the greatest accomplishments he's had and so exciting for him. So absolutely congratulations to him. But congratulations to you for being a great friend. And that that is something that when I when I see stuff like that, I just it just warms my heart. And and you you definitely support your friends all over the place and um, mm-hmm. You show it all over your social media. So hats off to you, man. That's great. And, and Thank you very much. I, I hope that they all continue to support you as well. I know we here at yeah. Center Stage, we're going to continue to support you. And um, I'm so glad that, you know, your your EP has done this well. And your song, Better on a Barstool, I love it. That is probably awesome. all out of, out of your song. That one is my, you know, current favorite right now. I, I absolutely love mm-hmm. it. Um, and there's something else that I saw on Instagram. Now, right now I'm currently in Southern California. So when I see Southern California related stuff on people's social media, I love to point it out. And you have a picture of In-N-Out on there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a big, huge thing. People people fight over it. The people in Texas fight over, you know, Whataburger versus In-N-Out and people in New York no, are five no guys. Comparison. <laughs> well, no comparison. Yeah, that so, was probably taken, that's got to be while we were out in Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that was, we had a six week run out west and it was in Spain. It was the middle of the summer and, you know, we only had shows Fridays and Saturdays. So right. we had Sunday through Wednesday of just downtime. So we were always sitting there, you know, all five of us were on the internet all the time trying to figure out, you know, new restaurants to go eat at or new right. things to do during the week. And, we were on our way to, to our show. We were playing at Toby Keith's in uh, Phoenix. Right. And we saw that and everybody was like, tomorrow afternoon, <laughs> everybody get out of bed. There's yep. no sleep until lunch. At 12 o'clock, we're going in and out. <laughs> Absolutely. And and I'm I'm assuming you loved it. So, you know, oh, yeah. that, 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 so that was your first time there. That's awesome. Um, now, being here, I mean, we've grown up on it. You know, it's just it's just an everyday thing for so many, you know, people here. But it's always fun for me to see, you know, when people post pictures and they're not from from here. So I, I loved it. And I saw that. And I was like, yeah, I have to ask. I just did an interview with Craig Wayne Boyd, and he's all about the Whataburger. But his... Yeah, I just saw him post <laughs> something about that yesterday or the day before, I think. 
Right. Well, I, I had to ask him during our interview. I was like, all right, what is up with Whataburger? You know, I, I see it every time I drive out, you know, to Nashville because that 10 freeway is really crazy long through Texas. Yeah. And you see them everywhere, like every two feet, it seems. But, um, yeah, him and his, his, his significant other, they're constantly battling over the two. So I thought it was kind of fun. And when I saw you, I was like, all right, pro in and out. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but Whataburger is really good. It just doesn't have the same thing for me. I don't know. And I mean, that would like with the little Tyler is actually the one I was standing in line at In and Out. Mm -hmm. And you know, with Tyler being from California, he was like, okay. I called him. I said, What do I get? He said, All right, ask for a four by four animal style with animal style fries. Da da da. And I was like, dude, that's not on the menu. It's not on the menu. That, I mean, well, that was, was what like, I was going to ask you. How did you know to order that? Because, I mean, yeah, I knew what it was. was but He was like, just shut up. <laughs> yeah. Tell the lady that's what you want. And I'm not getting off the phone with you until I hear you say it. So I was like, all right. So <laughs> I, she was like, okay, you know, explain it to me, everything, what it was. She was like, you know, gave my total. And I was like, all right, I'll call you afterwards. And he, I think I can remember, I think we might have been FaceTiming each other or something like wow, I can't remember. Oh, that's but awesome! It was, it was definitely a good experience. Well, that that's great, and I'm I'm so glad I asked you about it. And and I'm sorry if that seemed super weird, but for me, I'm like, no. I am not the cookie cutter interviewer. I like to just have regular conversations with people, and <laughs> that just really intrigued me. And I mean, everything everything that you've done so far has been really amazing to see, and. Um, you know, your personalities, you and your friends, I mean, you just, you seem like you have a great, great, great time, but you seem like you just work so hard and you've got this, like you have this, you know, I don't know, just ethic. The, your work ethic is amazing is, is what it comes across as. And, um, you know, you have so many pictures of you working hard, you know, writing and you're at the computer or whatever. And I just people are capturing these moments and I'm like, wow, that's, it's really, it's really fun to watch. And somebody, I don't know who it was that, that made it for you, but there was a little bag of candy and it said, have a good day writing boys. And I just yeah, thought that's actually, that's, um, she's from California as well. Her name's Valerie. She's one of Tyler Rich's like best friends. And she watches, she, uh, obviously you keep up with Tyler. And so you know about Abby as dog, I'm sure. Right. Right. Um, she watches Abby while he's out on the road and I left some of my stuff over there, you know, one night or whatever. And she knew that I had a right and, um, actually in the same building that Tyler lives in. So right. I walked in there and she, she made, she leave us dinner in the refrigerator and also she's kind of, we, we call her like the, like the tour mom. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to give credit to whoever did that because that is amazing. Like, you know what a what a sweet contribution you know and in, an encouragement and and so yeah. kudos to her good, good job girl. i love that i yeah. love that well she, she would be she'd be absolutely thrilled that she's involved in this interview right now oh well that you know what <laughs> hey and and if she ever wants to get on camera with us when you guys are you know whatever <laughs> i would love to talk to her because that was the sweetest thing i had ever seen and you know, I mean, I see a lot of pictures. I, I talk to a lot of people all the time, and that just really stood out to me. And I was like, okay, I have to bring credit to whoever did this because, you know, not everybody is as thoughtful as that. And and I know that for people, you know, in your position, you're super busy. You're, you know, constantly, you know, working really hard, and the music industry can be really, really tough. So a sweet gesture like that can make a difference between a, a bad day and a good day. And oh, so, definitely. yeah, she's a sweetheart. Well, that's great. That's great. Thank you so much for everything. What do you have coming up that, um, Oh man, a <laughs> lot. Um, I'm actually down. I'm, I've been sick the last week, so I've been in the bed, oh, wow. not talking to anybody, not doing anything since this past week's shows and stuff. And I'm actually back down in South Georgia. Um, we have, I, I was just talking to my manager um, mm -hmm. when you called. We have, um, we're shooting the music video to Better on a Barstool. Oh, perfect. So as soon as I get back to Nashville, we will start going on that. Um, we are starting to line up the rest of uh, 2016's tour. Um, right now, we don't have too many shows on it. Um, I have a lot of shows down here in the South while I'm here, right, right. Um, and we'll kick things back off big probably around March. 
Oh, nice. Um, and and get on out there, and we'll go back to the Midwest, head out there towards you guys. Um, again, get that, and hopefully swoop back down around. The one place that I've not been able to play that I want to is in Texas. Um, I haven't had the chance to play there yet. Um, so hopefully we're going to add that around April, May. Right. Now, um, are, so are there specific do, venues that you're looking for in Texas, or? Uh, not really. Uh, I've I've been talking with five or six of them. Um, oh, okay. Me, my agent, my manager, have been you know in in constant um, negotiation back and forth on trying to make it possible for us. Um, the biggest thing is, of course, you know. When we need a specific date, they're booked, right. you know, whatever, mm-hmm. for their routing and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> yes. But we will, uh, we're doing our best to make it happen because, I mean, it seems like every day I get a direct message on Twitter from somebody. Mm-hmm. When are you coming to Houston? When are you coming to Dallas? <laughs> right. Well, time. in the Houston area, there is a great venue. And if you love good food and you love good coffee, it's called Dosey Do's. And there's two. Do-si-dos. There's Dosey Do's. There's one in Conroe, Texas, and one in the Woodlands. And they're both great, great, great venues. And um, it's probably in Texas. That's probably my favorite venue that I've ever seen anybody at. But mm-hmm. it's just, it's a really fun environment. So keep that one in mind if you haven't heard about it. Mm-hmm. Check them out. They're really cool. But they grow their own coffee beans. And so they've, they've just, it's, it's a pretty interesting Please. place. Yeah. But, um, well, good luck to you. I know that 2016 is going to be huge for you, and I cannot wait to see what your tour schedule ends up to be. And, um, you know, let us know of anything that we can do to promote you. And I'm so excited to see your video for, you know, um, Better on a Barstool. I, that's my favorite song. So I can't wait to see that one. And uh, yeah, good luck with we'll everything. Some, some special appearances in there. People will pop up. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. That'll keep be you fun. Guys, keep you guys going. <laughs> Right. That'll be fun. Well, it'll be great to share with share with everybody and, you know, to watch everybody's response to that, because I'm, I have no doubt it's going to be an amazing, positive response for you. So um, I, I'm just excited to be a part of it and to help any way we can. So just let us know. Keep in touch. And in the meantime, good luck to you and feel better. Um, keep keep <laughs> yourself you well rested and we will talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so right. much for having me. Thank you. Bye bye.